All right, you guys. I know you guys think I'm absolutely nuts, and you're probably right. But I bought a Volkswagen. First time in my life I've owned a Volkswagen. 1974 Volkswagen Bug Sun Bug. So the gold cars were the Sun Bugs, and um, there were only 300 ever made. They're exceptionally rare. So, um, this little kid, of course she's all original. Her body looks pretty decent. She has a little bit of dents and stuff in places. Oh, look. She's got a foundation sticker on her already. Woohoo! Um, she needs running boards across the bottom. The guys, when they were hauling her, they hauled, because I wanted to push it into the driveway for me, so they hauled the uh, trailer dolly on the front and they were towing the back well this blew out and shredded so they had to turn it around and we had a booger of a time getting in the driveway but it's here the car's going to need new um, tires anyway to be safe this is the worst part of the body right here and this will have to get ground out and fixed um, she wasn't registered since 2005 she needs a good cleaning and a good vacuum and a whole lot more. <laughs> and I'm really pretty crazy to think about going from a pretty truck like Lily Truck here to a bug. But, you know, it's going to be a fun little runaround card. The fact that it's a bug and it's a sun bug, no less means that we can use it for promotions for Lyme disease and raise awareness about bee venom therapy. So we can drive a bug, which is a sun bug, that talks about how to mitigate the Lyme bug while using another bug to heal yourself with bee venom. So yeah, get your sting on, baby. All right, well, some people might have paid someone to haul this little car off, but I actually paid someone to bring it. <laughs> um, they're stupid simple to work on. I mean, there's so many parts that are here. She's got a sunroof, which is really neat. Now, this is the 1974 is the first year that they did the like the hard top on that. Uh, later on, they did a rag top, which was not as popular. So um, there's some parts missing. Yeah, but you know, you can find parts. So she's got some turn indicators. She needs a front bumper. She needs a, a knob for the uh, trunk here. And of course, as I get in here and clean it out, I know there's going to be some little nests and things. Um, I'll get it vacuumed out and cleaned out. And um, I'm probably going to find some parts. So I'm going to thoroughly go through the car before I do anything with it. Um, she definitely needs the running boards that go on the sides. Somebody took those off at some point. Um, the kid that I bought it from was going to turn it into a doom buggy, kind of a Baja style doom buggy. And he bought it and it sat for about seven years. And it used to run beautifully. So I think I will um, get a battery for her and. Um, See if she'll start. She might. All right, well, stay tuned. Because you never know what I'm going to do next. I know, I'm crazy. But, you know, be sure to like and follow us at the Flippin' Lime Foundation. Woohoo!